We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be coming back to Tainted Grail, the Fall of Avalon. It is from Questline and Awaken Realms. And March 30th, 2023 is when it went into Steam Early Access. But we are currently going to be taking a first look at patch 0.7 as we are one of the 960 Risen. And essentially this is the uh, Kuanacht Rebellion update. So patch 0.7. It basically unlocks stuff into Act 2 with some changes and different things into the game and it's just a lot more stuff to do. I don't think the main quest line is actually there. It's more of a kind of go through and explore the area and see what's out there and so on and so forth. Now if you guys recall last time we barely got through the tutorial. We really didn't dive too deeply into the game because we didn't want to spoil a whole bunch of stuff for ourselves. And we were waiting until a future patch, another big update, or the game itself to release to really dive into the meat and taters of the game. Well, we're going to be skipping Act 1 altogether, it seems, and we're going to be going and checking out the new stuff they've got on offer. So, um, we have the prologue. We played through that. It took us about an hour, a little bit less, I think. And uh, it was very good. I really, really, really enjoyed my time playing it. Then there's the Horns of the South, which is essentially the first of Act 1, and then now to Act 2. So, this is where we're going to be starting. We get to start with a preset level 20 character, and there are several options to speed our journey to it, as all saves prior to this were reset, as this was a pretty uh, big overhaul patch. We have a heavy tank and offensive warrior, a pure mage, an arcane warrior, and a shadow hunter. I think by design last time, we did a lot of bow works and shooty pew pew stuff, and I wouldn't mind necessarily continuing with that, but I think we're gonna go offensive warrior. I don't know what this is going to entail exactly, but I'm, I'm here for it. Um, I feel like we're gonna not do well because this is already, you know, several hours of experience into the game that we just don't have. But we're going to try our very best. Am I sure? Why not? Let's do it. You guys know I want a big two-handed weapon, and I want to headbutt stuff into submission. That, that's the goal. I, I would also settle for two, like, one-handed axes to go chop to chop chop So you give me one of those options, and, and again, two-handed weapon, preferably an axe. I'm a, I'm a happy bumpy. If I had to use swords... They're still cool. I like swords, but again, axe is where it's at. I, even a hammer. I, I don't know. I guess I'm more offbeat weapons as of late. Well, it's just for, for a very long time, in fact, not just as of late. Uh, hammers I never particularly loved. I, I like them with like a specific thing, like a, like a, a paladin, a hammer and a shield. I always thought that was cool. Uh, even, even like a dwarf warrior, still would prefer an axe and a shield for a dwarf warrior, but like, again, the paladins really, a, a, a hammer and a shield or a two-handed big old giant maul, a hammer, you know, I get behind that, but in general, I like my warrior type people to be warrior type people. All right. Body condition normal, muscular. All right. Well, let's just go through, let's change some stuff up. Hmm, there is a definitive lack of mohawk, and I think that might be the most um, critical thing that they need to work on. I guess this is as close to mohawk as possible. They should be ashamed for not having the mohawk available. Yep, that works. And a name. You know what? We're going to go with a, a classic. A classic if you are a fan. We're going to go with Bevan Renny Llewellyn. All right. Let's see what we got. Yep, sure, let's do it. Welcome to patch 0 0.7. And please, do not skip these few tutorial messages because they are really important. We've made some crucial changes to the game and we are still in the process of integrating them smoothly into the natural flow of the experience. They may not be as self-explanatory as we would like them to be eventually. So, first up, setting up a bonfire. From now on, whenever you'd like to rest, level up, or cook something, you'll be able to set up a bonfire in the game world. 
In order to do that, you will have to open the quick wheel, which is tied to Q, and switch to the second tab using the right mouse button. The second wheel for now will allow you to set up bonfires, call back your horse when you do get one, and use the spyglass. All right, I mean, that, that, that all kind of tracks makes sense, I suppose. I suppose. All right. Well, we have a sword and a shield to start with. That immediately, it's a little bit of a turnoff for me, but it's okay. Uh, so if we hold the quick wheel and we right click, we can go to the bonfire, we can call our horse, and we can use our spyglass. Which I, I don't, oh, okay. So I don't really know what that does for us, but it's dude up there. I don't suppose he's friendly. He might be. Don't know. We'll see. All right. So then we have over here the Camelot Soldier's Gladius. We have double gladii, and then we have a great sword. No axes. That's that's upsetting. Ooh. Do we not have a... Uh, oh. oh, the heavy attack is the stab. All right. I see. It sure doesn't feel like we have a lot of uh, stamina, but that's okay. And then tab was the equipment screen. Okay. Uh, here's a quick overview of some new features you'll find in the equipment screen. Loadouts are a very important part of the game. You can prepare up to four item sets that you'll be able to change on the spot during gameplay using one, two, three, or four, or you can use the quick wheel. These allow you to easily equip to easily equipment whoops with the various builds and uh -huh, and play styles. Uh, items you put in quick slots and the autofill slot will be available for you in the quick wheel menu. Use these for the most important items such as health and or mana potions. The trick with autofill slot is that suitable items will fill in automatically with the most effective item placed there by default. One additional important thing, you can use items in the quick slash autofill slots during the gameplay with X without entering the quick wheel. X, okay. And cycle them with C. All right. All right, we are all uh, loaded up. We do still have a bow and arrow, so I'm a fan. And we got wine, sage, there's a potion, and some food, apparently. Tasty food plus one, tasty food plus three. Let's do tasty food plus one and a healing potion. Something like that. Alright, and then four is the bow and arrow. Is alt the dodge? Yes, alt is the dodge button. Space bar to jump. This is a quick travel spot. Oh, brain is owning me right now. Yep, fast travel. This dude's sitting down. Now, I don't know. Maybe we can approach, uh, you know, friendly and they won't murder us. Ooh. We can get some carnations out here. We can pick some flower. We can stop to smell the flowers, folks. Something that we don't do often enough as, uh, as human peoples. Mostly because allergies exist. Speaking of which, I didn't take an allergy pill yet today. Oh, dear. Hopefully that doesn't kill me too bad. Hi. Y'all gonna murder me? No? By you. You you a you a murderer? No. Oh, I, I don't think I want to steal your your potatoes and stuff. Or do I? You think they notice me if I if I take this? Alright, you know what? I'm not a thief. I'm so What's up, man? Tired. Nice uh um, shoulder. Not one for chin wagons. Nice. You'd better remember that. Uh, oh, have we have we spoken before? Dude's got an axe. Come on, man. Why don't I have an? Oh. So is this guy. What's up, dude? Hmm. Who's there? What do you want? What? 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 Just do you sitting want? here, not bothering anybody. So there's no need to bother us. Uh oh. Okay. Um. What are you doing here? Working hard. <laughs> We're recruit rec gathering people. Mm hmm. But we don't need anything from you. You've got some guts, walking right up to a pair of Dalrita without even flinching. Well, well. Thank you. Impressive. Oh, dude. Indeed. Why'd you why'd you get up on Your me? Dalrita. 
we make sure that the Camelot scum infesting Kuanach don't even dare to think about heading south. Oh, that seems... Imagine a Camelotian who's also a deserter. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Even Grindelos have their honor, unlike those scum. And catching a deserter? Now that's a real treat. True. All right, so uh, what do you do with those that you capture? We do what any honorable warrior would do with deserters. We help Camelot get rid of their cowards. Does that involve you can your say axe? those vermin owe us a debt. Thanks to us, they're well fed, and Denim pays us handsomely. Oh, oh, oh. Who? Who, who Denholm be? A Camelot legate. Oh. He commands the rabble you see swarming in Kuanach. The old He's legate. decent enough. And he pays a good price for deserter scalps. Oh. That, no, that is what I thought you were going to do. See No Evil is our new quest. I might be able to meet a Denholm, the Camel Camelodian Camelot Legate. Or Legate, as uh, you like to say. All right. Oh, there are a lot of Camelotians. Aye, there are. Camelotians. We've been here no. for two years now. Oh. And are multiplying like vermin. Well. It all seemed innocent at first. They were just supposed to help the local lord to mine resources. Ha. Huh. Sure. And those nitwits from Kuanacht fell for it like naive children. No so doubt, when no the doubt. troops arrived, they were caught completely off guard. The Red Priests came along with the troops, and then, out of nowhere, the Red Death resurfaced. Oh. Even now, as the Camelotians aim to take the Menhir, the village is torn. Some want to go to Camelot. Others want to stay. It's a complete mess in there, my fair help me. She won't. The goddess doesn't like people like us. You specifically. Shut your know. mouth. You're flapping your gums like a wench in a brothel. Yikes. Anything else? Or will you be on your way? I think with that, we'll, we'll, we'll head out. Thank you for your time. Good hunting. Uh, yeah. It's nice to have a break. Yeah. Well, Sometimes. That's what they say. All right. Well, we, we did a thing. F5, a quick save? It is. All right. Well, we're gonna head up here. This is great. All right, I'm ready. Uh oh, that was a big bird. Well, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on over here. A lot of different places we can go. Let's go take a peek around. We have the old glass of spies. Cool, cool, cool. I want to take a peek down there. Nothing. Wait. That's either a very tired man or a not alive man. There's, oh, there's a horse, and then a not alive horse. There's no people over there? Huh. Well, I think I must go for my horse. Can we loot these? Oh, we totally can. Picking up some sage. Alright, now keep in mind, I've not re-familiarized myself with much. And by much, I mean anything. So I very possibly will die a horrible death rather rapidly all right people are starting to show up now our spyglass did not really help us too too much on that front oh i could take some blueberries we may be in for a fight oh well, we immediately seemed upset Oh, I missed. Oh, he stabbed me. Okay, well. Hey, you better run. I was... Yeah. Alright, so that didn't go 100% according to plan, but... He... Ate something. I shot like his ankle or something. You're nothing but a peasant. Slow 
Oh yeah, I took him down. Look at that. Uh, guess we'll take all. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Did you see what happened to your friend? You, you really wanna? Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> hmm. That did not go well for them. Also, you, you know, I don't know that it went necessarily well for us either. Oh, I just killed an outcast peasant. Killed him too, apparently. Some sneak attack. All right. Oh. That's right. Mm-hmm. You saw what happened? Some broken arrows. So they really only had one dude who had any level of scary. Everybody else pretty easy to deal with. A single arrow to the to the noggin. Pretty much knocked the one dude out. Some flame resin. Very not a live horse. Things are pretty dark over here. Ooh, I got the Eternal Guardian seal, which I think was the uh, chest, uh, sorry, the, uh, the scarf thing. Cloak. Hello, horsey. Oh. oh, I can pet it. Can I ride it? Oh, I totally can ride it. Oh, boy. Okay, well, um... It has horse. Can I fight from horseback? It does not seem to be a thing that I can do. I can dismount. Let's uh let's see if I can call my horse. So it was Q, right, and then <whistles> Awesome. Good 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 girl? We'll say girl. We don't need a stallion, baby. So just regular horse. It's fine. Okay, so so we whoop some booty. There was a little bit of booty whoopage. I should probably look at the equipment that we picked up. I assume we're going to have better than what they've got. Do we... What's this? Oh, it just decreases my max health. Uh, okay, so where... Oh, we have... We're, wait, why are we... Oh, like, why are we wearing deserter armor to start with? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, that's what I picked up. The Red Priest's Cowl. Okay, well, I mean, so far... Things went pretty okay for us. Our first uh, endeavor, we, we got stabbed once a little bit. A little bit of stabbage. Hold on. Did I not loot you? No, I didn't. I need naked bodies on the ground, guys. Come on. Keep those loincloths on. You can keep those. Everything else is mine. Hold on, rosebush. Damn, we gotta stop to smell the roses. Get some carnations. That way we can make some carnation instant milk. Formula or something. Really? No one's gonna challenge us on the bridge. Definitely seems like a place where you'd want to set up a toll or something. The Royal Geographer's Note. Okay, Magic Oak Merlin. Merlin is a tree that grew from an acorn brought from the homelands by the legendary wizard of the same name. He gifted the young sapling to Palamedes, the founder of the Tarian family who planted it at the burial site of brave warriors with whom he fought. But what gives Merlin its unusual leaf coloration? 
Legend has it that among the bodies of the knights, there are also the remains of the four dwellers, which could indeed explain Merlin's supernatural properties. Or perhaps Merlin himself breathed magical life into the sapling. We will likely never know. What is certain, however, is that this oak is unique on the entire island. The wealth of Kuanak uh, does not lie in its minds. It lies in its unparalleled history, the memory of which should be honored every day. The royal geographers. I'm going to take that. I don't want to remember. Knowledge is power, and history is a form of knowledge. All right, you stay here. I'm going to go take a peek over here and see what's going down. Uh, we got some sage, got some more roses and carnations and things. Is this the catapult? Well, it looks like a war machine of some sort. Wait, were they trying to remove the... <gasps> Unacceptable. We need to burn that thing down. Not not the tree. Maybe, maybe fire is a bad call, actually. But They were trying to rip the tree out of the ground. Unacceptable. I'll assume you guys aren't friendly. What are you? What, what you guys doing? Every time I oh. What are you poking around here for? You're one of them, aren't you? You better sod off, or else. One of who? Calm down, Bryn. Yeah, Bryn. No one will be so Jeez. stupid as to show up here after making such a mess. So, uh. Go on, or else what? You! You bloody! Calm down, both of you. If you start fighting now, it'll just bring more trouble. And death. We'll have to excuse Bryn. None of us are in the best of moods lately. Someone has been sabotaging our equipment for the past few weeks. And it looks like it's a professional job. Mm. They seem to know perfectly well how to make life difficult for us. Why are you trying and to kill the tree? happened last time. My people have had enough. They refuse to work. They don't want to risk their help. It's a good plan. Uh-huh. So what happened last time? The bandits used to come at night, destroy our equipment, and then disappear. But last time, they beat one of the guards unconscious. Poor Sard was just lying there, like a tenderized steak for the whole night. He lost a lot of blood. And when we finally managed to wake him up, it turned out that Aedwin wasn't himself anymore. Oh. His head was all messed up. Oh. Bastards. Nah, that's not good. Yeah. He was delirious. He kept seeing strange things. He thought we wanted to hurt him. Uh-huh. So, you have any suspects? Bandits, probably. Or rebels from Kunacht. Although, at this point, <laughs> they're one and the same. Yeah, I've heard it both ways. The workers refuse to keep working. Not only do they feel threatened, but... Well, there's no denying that not everyone from Kunacht is happy about what we're doing here. What are you doing here? I can understand them, in a way. We made them destroy their own land. They should just give up. If they piss Denim off, it's not going to be pretty. Bryn, calm down, please. Remember why we're doing this. It's for their own good. And we have our orders, mm -hmm. for which we are held accountable. It's us or them. So, what, what now? We have to catch those scumbags. I killed some dudes on the way here. <sighs> Something needs to be done, that's for sure. But for now, we wait. Denholm doesn't want to give us any more guards. So, if you want to earn some money, we could use your help. One of the workers claims to have seen the direction those thugs ran. Oh, yeah? They're familiar with the area. They mentioned a cave. Ooh. I'm not sure if this is a good lead, but it's worth checking out. Sure. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So, what'll it be? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk with the peeps. I'll deal with That's it. It's good to hear. If you find anything out, come back to me, eh? I'll send someone to Denholm with a report. Why, why are you killing good this luck. tree behind me? Talking to myself again. Alright, let's grab up a bunch of stuff. I'm sure we'll be able to craft various things with it. 
course, is the dream. All right. That lantern looks very creepy. Hey, man. Uh, you look familiar. Yeah, yeah. You're Sioran's kid, aren't you? Mm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you look a lot like him. Yeah, sorry about your father, but trust me, those priests mean well. Yeah. They, uh, they took him to the island asylum to cure him. He'll return whole and healthy. What are you doing here? Did the Camelotians drag you to work here too? What's the point in working like that? Back in the old days, we respected each other's work. Uh -huh. I heard that one of the workers mentioned a cave that could be a hideout for thugs. All right, that's me. There's okay. this cave dug out by the Cornac folk about a hundred years ago. Wow. My old man told me it was meant to be a shelter in times of war or some other disaster. Yeah, I was there a couple of times when I was a kid. It used to be safer back then. Now it's all but abandoned. Hmm. If you ask me, that's exactly where those folks who beat up the guard could be hiding. All right. Sure, sure. Tomorrow's another day. Right? Sounds sounds good. Um. Why does everything always feel like a bummer? Okay, so we probably have some some stuff on a map. The last tree, they're trying to get rid of it. Tightening the screws. Okay. I guess we're going to go tighten some screws. Uh, so I have a little concern that we're going into a, a cave. And we do not have a torch. However, what we do seem to have are other things. Hmm. Weapon loadouts. Interesting. Okay, so here, here's the potential plan. I, I don't know that I like this idea. Because it, it could just be really dumb. It's a broken wooden club. Aha, there's a torch. Okay, never mind. Um, so, I, I'm thinking, what, what do I want to do as far as combat goes? Having the four different loadouts is fine. I'd love to have a lantern or something that we could toss on our hip so we could see better in the dark. But it looks like we're going to have to hold it. Um, so... I was considering maybe removing the shield and having the lantern in the offhand. That's an option. And probably what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, the, the other option is what if we get rid of the sword and board altogether and we have this stuff. Like the mother's blessing for healing. And then we can also do the wolf's call for so basically change a lot of stuff up. So let's let's do that actually. All right, so we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some amends here to what is going down. And I think it'll be okay. Uh, torch. And then for four. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Mother's Blessing and Wolf's Call. No, I can only do one or the other. Uh, that's fine. We'll just do this. I was going to have the Wolf's Call thing going. I thought that might be cool. All right. So I think I'm ready. Again, we only have 13 arrows. Uh, oh, yeah. I could call my horse. I forgot I could do that. Come on. Now we gotta find our way to the cave, which seems to be in a different area. I like that we can pet the horse, but I don't know. Maybe there should be a different button in which to do that. Because it 
kind of uh, the horse runs to you and puts its face in your face, right? So having the the horse uh, pet button be the first thing you can do because you go to its face seems I don't know, it just slows you down because you then have to like reposition yourself, move around to the side. Maybe you're trying to get on your horse at a specific time. Could be bad. I, I still don't think they should be killing the last tree. I have my uh, qualms about this. Can I loot stuff from horseback? I can. Well, I thought I could. I got off the horse immediately. But I suppose it makes sense. If you're going to get on a horse, you are going to go to the side of the horse. Again, I'm just maybe being pedantic or something. Oh. 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 Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I think he's dealing with the, the bear. Oh, oh, they are all dealing with the bear. Are they friendly? They, they are outlaws, so it doesn't seem like they'd be friendly. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Dude hit me with throwing knives. Oh my goodness, that was that was very messy. But it looks like they defeated the bear for me. Which I, I don't know that I approve of. Ah, uh, this torch not helping me at all, by the way. It is not casting any light whatsoever. I don't know where any of the people that I launched across the universe went, either, by the by. Oh, the bear should be around here somewhere. I, I guess there's a tiny bit of light that comes from the, the... The torch should be better. Maybe the... Maybe when it gets darker, darker, it, it does something. But like right now, this is this is not super useful. Oh, well, some some stuff here. My horse is back this way somewhere. Oh, there it is. Hi. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is rough. Okay, you know what we can do, though? We can set up a bonfire. Okay, uh, press E to set it up. Uh, the bonfire allows you to cook, rest, and level up. There's no other way to add stat points and skill points uh, you earn after leveling. Okay. However, the bonfire can also be fueled by ethereal cobweb. Oh. Fueling your bonfire will protect you from the weirdness at night and allow you to rest safely. It also allows you to craft alchemical potions, use fast travel, and identify items. We'll let you experiment with these features. Well, I guess I'll level up. I have one available. Strength does seem to be the, the task that I'm, uh, I'm pulling out here. Carrying capacity... So what, we started here, and then we had to branch off. 
Increased damage against blocking enemies. Okay. One-handed weapon hits deplete 5% of the damage dealt. Eh. Two-handed weapon hits deplete 7% of the damage dealt from target stamina. Or just increase physical damage. I mean... Y'all know. Yeah, that's fine. I have approved of this message. I am going to rest until... I guess... 8 a.m.? Hopefully we'll be okay. During the night, enemies can become much stronger, so beware. Because you never know what will happen once they transform. However, they will also start dropping ethereal cobwebs and unidentified items. You'll be able to identify them at your bonfire after you fuel it with said ethereal cobwebs. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. There was something else. It wasn't just him. There was something that was lurking over this way. I saw it. There it is. Alright. Oh, that looks really cool. Where'd the dead guy go? Did, what? Huh? Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that we the the torch should cast more light than this. So far, that's really my only complaint. Is that my my torch is a, a little bit useless? Okay, well, I now have ethereal cobwebs, so there's that. I, I need a lot of them, though. Uh, let's continue to rest. Oh, the air is thick with weirdness. It doesn't want me to rest. So my guess is that means there's something else out here. That I need to deal with. That doesn't look like a, something else I need to deal with, person. That's just a dude. That's also a dude. Well, okay, I see red things over here. I have said an outlaw. Oh no. Can can we rest? I'm gonna try it. It's just warning me again. Oh. Oh crap! A bear. Dude, there's a bear coming. Oh, God. Apparently you are a mage. Oh, and we died. Well, that was not expected. <laughs> Things were going fine until, uh, well, until the morning came and really, really dark Juju Magumbo decided to show up. Uh, the bear to immediately scare me into my my death. I, I'm not even sure what that thing was that I ran into there. Alright, so it looks like we just won the fight. From before. And we have to reloot everything. Well, it was bound to happen, guys and gals. We, we kind of knew that I was going to fall victim to something. 
There was a body over here. I got a deserter scalp, and then there was like one way out over this way. Okay, so what I think we do at this particular moment in time is we find our horse again. And I think we're going to ride up over here. Basically in pitch dark. We're going to hop off our horse. It's clearly fine. We're gonna crouch, and we know that there's a sneaky boy over here. We take him down, single shot, because we're incredible. Okay. And then my hope is that. If we, oh, the night is uh, it's coming on and it is making things a little bit easier to see if you're facing the moon. Hmm. Well, we're going to try the bonfire again. We're, of course, going to level up. We, we learned about the ethereal cobwebs. We go ahead and we're going to do that. We're going to confirm it. Basically running it back, and we're going to... Can we cook? We can. A lot of stuff that we can cook. Is there any, like, actual good? Let's see what happens. I, I, I created some undercooked food. Plus two. Okay. I like it. Alright, we're going to try resting. Until the morning. We'll say 747. I mean, we, we're pretty sure we're going to be attacked by horrible things in the nighttime. And yet? Yeah, we don't see what is here to take us. Well, you know, I do really like the bonfire idea, but it doesn't seem to be all that useful in the early days. Maybe heading to a town and visiting an inn? Oh, I see. Uh, would be a better call. Actually, let's do this. Uh oh. A deranged archer. Alright. Cool. Alright, looks like uh, morning has come upon us. Did our, our bonfire go out? It looks like it. All right, we're going to do a quick save again. We're going to stick a little bit longer with the, the game this time around, guys and gals, than a traditional first look being a little bit on the shorter side. But we're going to stick with this a little bit longer, play around. I mean, we, we were met with slight disaster. I know there's still a body I haven't found out here. There it is. That was a body I hadn't found out here. 
All right, we came over this way. There's still some stuff out this way. There we go. A lot of bones and things. There's clearly a person over there. I think it's a person. Oh, no, they're goblins. Hey, we got our fast travel on. Very nice. Oh, there's a little camp here we could have uh, hung out at. Where did the other goblin end up going? I wouldn't hate or despise. Again, that might take away from uh, the overall experience, and if that's the case, I could totally understand why you wouldn't want that, but I would not be opposed to there being a button to press, and there might be, and I just might not know what that button is, to highlight things. It's clearly not alt, because that is our, our dash dodge uh, maneuver. Like, I can't find the body of the, the gobbo that I... I dropped. There he is. No, that's a that's a stump. Well, I mean, I stabbed like right in this direction, so he should be like right here ish. We found the other one who got like stuck up behind this. Hmm. Is it super important, and do I need to, to find it? No, but the principle alone, you know? All right, let's take a look at the map. I'm getting, I'm getting lost in this, uh, this stuff. How? Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be going into the scary, spooky place, which I'm probably not a very massive fan of. Oh, he ended up way over here. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's the other thing. With my uh, thrust attack, apparently I just launch people. Which, again, not a bad thing. <laughs> but it is kind of funny. All right. So last time we were in this general area, uh, some seriously dark Juju Magumbo went down. And we were not big fans of the Juju Magumbo-ness of everything. So this time, we're hopefully a little bit better prepared for... Whatever may come. Uh, our arrows are getting kind of light. Not a massive fan of that. Do we have the ability to craft anything? A bag. Equipment. Oh, right. We need a workshop. I remember that from the... Uh, the the, the Prolugue. So we're going to have to go to like a town or something if we want to craft more arrows or we're going to have to loot more arrows or we're going to have to just not have arrows. Uh, oh, here we go. The amphitheater of the House of Tarion. There is nothing that delights the crowd more than a skillfully performed spectacle, whether musical or theatrical. This is well known by the spectators at the tournament of a warrior's fair and the subjects of the House of Tarion which has probably overseen the region of Kuanacht for many years. This region, celebrated for its fertile fields and rich mineral deposits, is esteemed throughout Avalon. It is no surprise, then, that Lord uh, Diar Muid Tarion uh, decided to gift his, its subjects or his subjects with a magnificent amphitheater. <coughs> Excuse me, <laughs> this venue attracts uh, artists from all over the island, experts say that the acoustics here are unmatched by any other stage in all of Avalon. Traveler, remember, if you have the chance to see a performance in this amphitheater, be sure to take it. So saith the royal geographers. I'm taking it. That's gone. Hey, guys. You seem well fortified in here. Don't suppose I could convince you to unfortify? Oh, oh no, you're named. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, you spawned a, a, a horrible thing. Oh, oh god, I hit the wrong button. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 
You summoned undead. I, I'm not a fan of undead summoning. Yeah, you better run. <clears throat> All right, let's let's do the undead thing. What's up? You know I'm watching you. I did nothing. Okay. That'd be a really good time to get some energy. Well, my two-handed skill's going up. It's just us now? Eh. Oh god. Oh god, that hurt. Oh god, that hurt. Sir? I have to ask you to go away. Ow? Frozen. Yeah, okay, so the battle with her might take a little bit more um, effort than uh, what, I, what I'm putting forth, or a little bit more skill, probably more accurate. Now that's uh, that's not a, a fun battle, and I imagine she can probably just heal, so I either need a really good spot in which to battle her, uh, a little bit more talent in dodging, which I could probably do, but the fact that she summoned like seven thousand uh, undead to come kill me kind of slowed my roll a little bit not gonna lie i've also lost track of her is that her oh that's the undead all right well We've we have started the engagement with her, so maybe there's a path around that we can get to. We can pick off her uh, her children, so to speak. Did he just not? Ah, cool. Uh oh. Seems like she may have noticed. All right, so clearly that's not the path that we need to take right now. We may be in okay. Fight. Oh, you're definitely not wrong with that. You think I'm gonna let you just do that for free? Get out of here. Not, not too far, though. I still need to loot your, uh, your fallen uh, body, good sir. All right, so the cave is over here. Thankfully, Psycho Crazy Lady with the mage and the, the demon uh, spawn and the undead are over there. What is that? Uh, and if I don't have to deal with the... Oh, uh, uh, goblins. Gobbos, any more? Nope. I shall dispatch you with swift justice. 
and the American way, which definitely has to do with um, magic hands. All right, into the cave we go, where we will see the end of our uh, patch 0 0.7 first look. Yeah, pull that back out, sir. It's a corpse eater. Well, that can't be good for it. Psst. I mean, maybe don't yell. Ooh, hold on now. You've convinced me that I must be mining ore constantly. And of course, fishing and whatnot. All right, how do you think the uh, the torch... Well, the torch illuminates better in a cave. Well, that's good. Let's say, I, I remember it being a little bit... Um, a little bit better back when, uh, when I did the tutorial, because I remember we used it in a cave. And it didn't seem to be so bad, the prologue, but out in the... Out of the nighttime, man. Ooh, that's rough stuff. Well, you might be desperate. <laughs> he didn't even know I stabbed at him. You're only making me angrier. Exactly what we intended right there. That was Oh, I'd say incredible, but Oh hey! Dude. You're dressed in full night garb. I got it do so well. You don't get to come at, come up to me and to be like, Maha! And hit me with a fireball when you're dressed in full plate armor, dude. What the heck? Also, I'm pretty sure you have a weapon that I want. No, you have a war pick. Alright, well, hold on. I'm gonna come over here and slowly waddle my way over. As I lug thousands of pounds worth of stuff. Alright. Oh, wait. Hold on now. I know that this is going to be better. Oh, I'm completely wrong, I think. Oh, my God. They they actually have a great axe, and it's better than a sword. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're incredible. All right. Uh, One-handed. Uh, Two-handed. battle Worn battle hammer. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, The war pick, one-handed, right? Yeah, I'm okay with that. How did, how did that stack up to the Gladius thing? Uh, is there a way to compare the two? Like, it compared my... Alright, anyway, uh... 89 to... Or, sorry, 82 to 89. 79 to 93. Alright, the war pick is better. Alright, we're gonna drop... How do we drop? Drop this... Oh, we have a mace. Drop that. Uh, I guess I'll drop the shovel. We got some some interesting shields and things over here. Okay. We have a lot of daggers that look like we could potentially throw them, but I don't think they are throwing daggers. I think they are just regular daggers. A worn battle hammer definitely isn't feel like what we'd want to walk around with. Alright, how much uh, weight do we have uh, over here? Okay. I know I threw out some stuff I probably didn't want to. That was a gladius there. I think this is fine. Oh wait, the gladius was enough to overweigh me? Alright, uh, hold on. We, we definitely have too much uh, armor laying around too. Oh, now hold on now. Wait a minute. 20 versus... Oh god, yeah. Look at the deserter's heavy armor. Let's get rid of some of, uh... A steel breastplate doesn't sound like it's something we're gonna want. Uh... Probably don't need the deserter's armor. What else you got for me? Nothing there. This is better than what we're using. By a fair bit. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's get rid of some of this other stuff. Alright, I think we're okay now. This stuff rolls around. Okay, no longer stabbing, though. So we lose a little bit of our range advantage by using this axe. This guy's gonna notice me? Yes. Hey, 
Hey boys. You'll be fertilizing the soil. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Plenty of time to do that. I appreciate you. All right, there's a hatchet, some cabbage and stuff. Tomato, how do we, oh, like that. Yeah, I think the superior, yeah. Oops, yeah, that seems fine. And then, hold on, where, where did this guy go? Branded skin, some coins, superior throwing knives. Love that you have the great axe. The knight's helmet, I should take that. It looks like it's better. And knight's boots. The knight's greaves also better? Arguably. Alright. Let's uh let's take a peek at the hat. Deserter's heavy helmet is better. But the knight's helmet gives us gives us a little bit of something going on there, which is uh pretty nice. And then we got, it was the boots, right? Oh yeah, all right. we, got all, we got all the boots in the world right here. I mean, how many pairs of shoes does a man really need? Let's, let's, be, let's be fair. We're a little heavy on the, the whole shoe, uh, shoe thing. Oh, some venison, I'll take it. All right, let's, let's, let's focus here. getting there oh, oh say up over the top but I seem to have made a mistake okay my sneak is going up oh god there's a dryad Oh, there's a dryad who notices me. That's even scarier. Please, energy. Oh, oh! I was like, I, I don't, I don't have time to, I don't have time to deal with the animal. I gotta, I just gotta take out what's there, you know. Ooh, unidentified item. Twenty-three ethereal cobwebs. I am here for it. Help me in. All right. I'll even take some crab. What, what else is there? Some venison. Yeah. Continue to get our sneak on. Our, our heel is going to come out here soon. I think we're walking right into another dryad. We are not. Did we just circle back into a place that we were at before? Yes. All right. Yeah, this is just the exit of this place. Uh, what of the local workers mentioned? I found the cave the worker mentioned. Aren't I just leaving? Doesn't this defeat the point of going into the cave? Or did it update the quest to the point where we can do something about it? Because it did point me back here as the like the exit point. Do we need to return now that we've gone through the cave and took out the dryad and all the the nasty things inside? Did I fully clear it? I don't know. A lot, a lot of uh, questions that haven't been fully answered yet. Investigate. I did say I do that. I guess I did that? Alright. Well, then, for our final act. Nope. For our final act, we are going to call forth horse. Oh, 
kind of where I thought you were going to end up at. And we're going to theoretically ride back to town and turn in the quest and see where that puts us. Ah, oh, fun times adventuring though. I, I've been I've been looking forward to this one getting finished up uh, and just further along in development, which clearly has gotten. And yeah, this is this has been a, a good time. I'm still looking forward to seeing what's next, and I'm really looking forward to checking out a little bit more of this. I might have to go against my normal say rules. It's it's more self-imposed rules if you want to give it a, a name. And uh, play some stuff, uh, play a little deeper into a game just because I want to have some fun with it now and not have to wait. Uh, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I might I might have to, you know, flex my self-control a little bit and see how that goes. Alright. I think I did the thing that I was supposed to do, maybe, or I didn't. Either way. Uh-huh. Oh. Scumbags. Yeah, he's he not real happy. Okay. Sir. What about you? Those thugs messed up that poor sort from Camelot print. Yep. Uh, yeah, sure, no. Sure. Doesn't look like I fully finished up what I was supposed to finish up. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, well, it looks like there is more to, to be had, unfortunately. I I guess didn't fully clear out the the cave, the cave of wonders. But that's okay. I I think I did a pretty good job. We did take down the dryad. We fought some of the little goblin boys on the outside. We killed a corpse eater, which you know it's probably a, a good thing to have around if you have a lot of dead bodies. And a whole bunch of people. We got some new equipment, uh, and we acquitted ourselves at least medium well in combat and battle. So I'm here for it. Anyway, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for our very, well, I guess our second, our first look at patch 0 0.7, our very first steps and adventures into the new patch, into the new act, and with a pre-designed character to get us started. So, if you guys like what you saw, make sure you actually leave a like and subscribe to the channel, of course. Uh, and as I mentioned near the beginning, thank you to the developer for hooking us up with a code for this. It means a lot. It's truly appreciated. And uh, for allowing us to be one of the 960 Risen, which I didn't explain to you guys. But essentially, they reached out and they said that they wanted to basically acquire an elite group of, or just a group, I don't know how elite I am, but a group of uh, content creators that are excited and eager to play said game and would uh, all come together to create content. And there was going to be a limited number of slots. We'd get our hands on the builds a little bit earlier and all sorts of stuff. And we all kind of post videos, live streams, and all that stuff all at the same time. So, yeah. I was happy to join up. I really enjoyed playing uh, the prologue of the game. Really excited to see what comes next in the game. And now we got a little bit more of a taste of further along. It's really making me want to start the, the full Let's Play early, but... We're going to have to hold off. Uh, maybe another first look. Maybe I'll do a live stream uh, down the line just to hang out and play a little bit. Just have some fun. But, uh, yeah. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until the very next one, I have been your host, Bumpy Big Squiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play. We fight. We conquer. We conquer.